In this video I want to show you how to set an analog timer correctly. It is important that it is plugged into the socket. I didn't do that now because it's easier to show in this video. You will find a turning device on the timer on which you can see an arrow. This arrow shows what time is currently with you. If it is now for example 11 o'clock then you must have the 11 point to the arrow. That means you turn the wheel until the 11 is on the arrow. Then you have already set the correct time and you can be sure that the power is on or off at the correct times. Now you have these outer small black buttons on your timer that you can push in or pull up again. Whenever one is pressed in it means that the power is switched off and the ones pointing upwards there is the current just switched off. That means now you press down all the buttons where you want the power to be on. So you can easily press down several buttons in a row or for example you can let the timer run for half an hour or an hour at many different times. Depending on what you want to do with it, here you can see with me for example quite well that I have pressed the buttons down for a certain time and here the timer then always goes on. But in any case it is important that the timer itself must always get power because then this clocks continue to rotate all the time and you always have the correct time set. As soon as you take it from the mains the time no longer works and then the clock is adjusted again. On the side you usually still have a switch where you can set whether the time should take effect or the clock should simply run on continuous current. If you liked the video then I would be really happy about a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and activate the bell so you don't miss any new video.